okay welcome back in the last video we have installed Moodle and this is how it's going to look like so Moodle is a learning management system there are different kinds of user so first kind of user is admin admin can create any course can take any course can delete a course and so on then teachers so teacher is a, a kind of user who can create a course say course one teacher one created and he can delete that course one but he cannot delete course two that was created by teacher two All right and then another class of users called student student can take a course which a teacher has already allocated to him also student can self enroll in a course All right so there are three kinds of users so right now we have when you when you install module you create with admin user so basically what I'm going to do using admin user let's create a new course so add new course and let's say the course category is miscellaneous and say course name is intro to data science and say give a short name say CS 101 then give a summary I just want to put some random data okay then the format like you know, what kind of format that you're going to you're going to weekly format or topic format let's go on a topic format here then the course layout just by default and uh, let's say how many topics so let's say number of topics just only six topics that we have so course start date and all other things whatever you are seeing here are not mandatory let's say save change okay so now we have created our course CS 101 okay now if you turn editing on here then I'll see some icons by which I can edit the course so let's add some activities so in a topic one let's add an activity say let's let's add a let's uh, a book okay so add a book okay let's say say this is chapter one and then description again I just put some random value and then so and then save and display Okay. and now the the book is chapter one so let's okay so now this edit so chapter one and then the content I can put something and save changes right so now if you go to chat go to book so like let's go to the course CS 101 then you have chapter 1 we click on that then you have the data so basically this is how a teacher is going to create a course a course is consist of multiple topics and a topic is consist of multiple resources like a chapter or let's say you can use another activity called say quiz okay or another activity let's say called a choice or whatever so and also a forum and so on so what we're going to do we are going to have a system where we will have 50 such courses for our load testing because it doesn't make any sense to just create one course and one topic and so on so essentially we are going to create around 50 courses and each courses will have six to eight topics each topic is going to contain four to five different resources and resources are like a book or a quiz or a forum and so on so basically these are all learning resources 50 courses and maybe 200,000 users and we'll show you how to create an user so to create user you have to go to the site administration go to user go to account go to add a new user and let's say the username is test1 and the test1 the password is welcome1 so this is the password and first name is test last name is 1 email address is test1 at com. okay and city is LA country is United States okay and that's all and let's say 
we update pro so right now in our system we have an admin user and we have a test one user now you go to the course CS101 go to participant so you don't see any users right now you go down below go to the users go to the enrolled users then click on enroll users now it is going to show you what is the user so username is test one so enroll okay so now this if you go to participant now you should see a new user added that is test one so now let's log out from admin user and now let's log in as test one user so now if you see this is the website going to look like so right now it's going to show only one course called intro to data science but whenever I load all those preceded data is going to have 50 courses shown here and let's click on login and the user we have created is test one and the password is welcome one let's say we log in okay so we logged in and now if you click on intro to data science so this is what the user is going to see so chapter one and some content so this is the use case so this is the functionality so what we are showing we are have an admin user and teacher user and we have student user admin or teacher can create a course student can take the course that means see the content take the quiz participate in the discussion forum and so on we have test the system is working with browsing couple of pages so in the next video what I'm going to show I'm going to show you a technique by which we are going to create 50 courses okay and each of these courses is going to have somewhere in between 6 to 8 topics and each of those topics will have 4 to 6 resources and we are going to populate 10,000 students so what we are essentially trying to build we are trying to build a system which is something similar to our production system so in the production if we are having 50 courses 10,000 users then we need to pre-populate our system whichever we built right now test system with those kind of data sets so that our performance test will be more realistic so with this we now completed the system under test thank you so much for your time see you in the next video